Welcome to the Magic 8-Ball Challenge. In this challenge, you're going to make your own all-knowing, wise Magic 8-Ball. So let me open this full screen. For example, when I click on the Magic 8-Ball, it says, what's your question? Say, will this challenge be hard? And the All Magic 8-Ball says yes. The truth is it doesn't say yes all the time. There's a bunch of options it chooses from. And if you wanna learn how it does that, stay on for the hints. If you feel you can do this yourself, go ahead, jump into Scratch and go for it. All right, I'm gonna start a new project as always. And for the hints this time, I'm gonna use the cat and I'm just going to give you the basic idea of lists. So if you go to variables, you've made a variable for it, but you can also make a list. And the list is a special type of variable. It's a variable that is a list. So I'm going to make a list and I'm going to call it fortunes. What fortunes is, is this one variable but it can contain a bunch of items. So for example, right now it's empty. If I hit this plus, an item comes up and I can say, no, that's one of the responses that I want as a possibility. I could also say, yes. I could also have an option as maybe. And I could also have an option as ask again later. So this list contains all my options. So how do I access one of these? Well, there's all these blocks you'll notice. Show list, hide list, lots of things you can do with lists. They're extremely powerful. They're a key part of more advanced programming. But we're going to begin with the basics right now. And one is this block called item one of fortune. So this block, if I click on it, will say no, because it's item one. What's item one? No. If I change this to two, yes. You're like, that's great, but how do I get it to choose randomly? Well, that's where this pick a random number comes in. So I can put this in here and say one, two, four, because that's how many items there are. If I click on this, it says maybe that time. So it chose item three. If I click on it again, it says yes. And this whole block you can put in, for example, a say block. Now, what if I add another one that says like, in your dream, right? Well, I could change the number here to, I'd have to change the number here till five. But if I didn't want to do that every time, if you go to variables, there's also something called length of fortunes. What is length? That contains, in this case, five, because there's five items. And I can place that there. So then no matter how many, like you bet, no matter how many items I have, it will automatically update for me. Also, just like variables, you can hide the list because you don't want them to show, see the options when you do this. The other block that makes it so you can type in something is under sensing, and that's the ask block. And the ask block does what you think it does. If I click on it, it'll say, what's your name? And you can type in it. Wow. So my name is Scratch Cat. And it progresses from there. Now, if you want to get more advanced with that, it saves whatever you type in this variable called answer. I'm going to click on it so you can see it says Scratch Cat. If I said Bob instead of Scratch Cat, you'll notice answer says Bob. However, in this challenge, you can actually ignore what they type in and just have it randomly 
show something up on the screen. All right, I've given you enough hints to try to complete this challenge. Good luck and keep on scratching.